Where's Peter? You see Peter? I see Peter on line four. There's Carl. Maybe I'm not in the right place. Peter on line four. On line four. There's Carl, uh, G. Hyotis, Peter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those, those are your friends. Oh. Those are your friends, and that shows you their status. Oh, but they're not, they're not in Vassal Live games. Uh, we don't know if they're in Vassal Live games. They might be. Uh, no, no, they're not in, in our in our little channel right here. Live Vassal games. They're not in our channel. Okay. Um, uh, they might be just online. They, a lot of people leave their Discord on, and so when they log on, it'll show their green or whatever like that. Oh well. Okay. So um. So yeah, there's that. Uh, but sometimes they'll be like, I got a buddy of mine that hangs out in one of my in one of my other chat rooms. He just hangs out and he plays some some video game or something like that online. But, um, yeah, let's go here, pop out, and we'll go, I get to edit this. Oh. I played a face-to-face -face SK3 game. Mm -hmm. The ones that the, uh, that, uh, um, damn it, Dave Kleinschmidt did. He had, like, a replay thing he went over a replay thing on 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 the podcast about four or five years ago mm -hmm. and uh and it was really funny the guy chose that scenario was like hey this is the one that that, that was on two house squads so it's pretty cool and, uh the russians have the, the big kv2 uh, 152 gun on that bad boy i uh i blew up uh an elite squad with a demo charge with it so it was pretty exciting hmm. and so um it was uh, we only played two turns and then he quit after that because uh, I split his force in half mm -hmm. and all of his leaders were on the south half of the board away from his objectives. And so he had four squads by himself. So it's just a matter of uh, annihilating those four squads with a big KV-2 because none of his tanks can destroy my KV-2. Hmm. Uh, so that was pretty pretty funny. So, so but he had, my guys, he, had, he had my guys split in half. Yeah, I mean, for me to get into the objectives, I'd have to take all of his tanks were there. Uh, I only killed one of his tanks and he killed my um, he killed my second tank like on the first turn, he got a he got a decent shot and he just blew it up. So there's nothing I can do about that. Well, there is. I could put it somewhere else, but uh, I knew the KV2 is a is a big boy. Now what am I looking at? I am looking. Oh, there he is. Boom. All right, there. There we go. I put start streaming and yeah, the I'll do a start recording too, just in case. So <clears throat> yeah, I record. I used to just stream and then on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, and then what you do is it just automatically uploads to YouTube and, but the editing on YouTube is absolute garbage. Uh -oh. And, uh, and sometimes like when, like you see how we did our mic check and our sound check and our, the tested to see what it sounds like. Yeah. I uploaded a video and my voice was like, like 12 octaves lower. And it's like, I can't even change that on my end and YouTube had changed it. So YouTube screwed up the data transfer on that somehow, some way. But uh, so it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm not going to spend two hours and, uh, and then record a video that I can't even watch that I even made myself. So I wasn't impressed with that. So that's where I started recording off. It takes me more time now. Mm -hmm. But what it does for me, it, it, it forces me to kind of edit more and clip more and things like that. Like uh, uh, I played a game with Dennis uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, and we had a lot of downtime. We had a lot of secondary chatter. So last night I started editing that, and that's going to be a nightmare. Because I have to kind of go through it and, and pick up the little bits and pieces where, um, you know, our kind of just chatter is just there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm not much bad. of an editor. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it it takes a little time, but it's not too bad to be honest. Hmm. One twenty, wait, one twenty-five. Hey, where's my camera? Okay. Let me get my zoom in. Okay, I'm not sure why my numbers don't work. Oh, number locks. It helps when the number locks not there. Okay, and that took out my camera. I need to take that there. So this should. Be... Okay, good. good, 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 good. And um. There, okay, cool. So, all 
All right, we're here with George. We finally hooked up, starting our game, and uh, it is American Turn 5, a simple equation, and he's made uh, an aggressive move right in the middle to take all three of those stone buildings. They will no longer be accessible to the Germans, and uh, he's made some headway on the right-hand side, and uh, hopefully that won't cause a pain in the butt for the Germans, but I think it will. And... Um, yeah, he's progressing now. Now he's going to make his big push for the big victory. The big V! Uh, and so, uh, so George is ready to go. And uh, if you have any comments before on what you want, might want to do this turn, George, that's fine. And um, I'll just uh, mute my headset. I'll give you like 30 seconds and let me know what you need to do. All right? Okay. Um, quite frankly, I'm slightly clueless as to what I will do <laughs> it's going to be a very challenging game and uh, that fortress is going to be hard to take uh, that's about all I can say so on with the game Nice. Good. I like the text uh, thing that you're doing. Okay. All right, my man. Uh, good luck to you. And let's go with the rally phase American turn five. Yep. So uh, let's see. I see only one unit. It's the only one unit. Yep. Uh, one unit. And he can self rally because it's my turn. Yep. So it would be uh, four or less because he's in a stone building. And no. what else? That's what else applies. Uh, minus one because he's doing a self rally, and plus one so it's because he's in a stone building, so it's even uh, three or less. Correct. Very good. Oh, there you go. I'm getting the hang of it. Damn it. A lot of guys forget the plus one for self rally. It's easy. To, it's easy to forget. You just gotta boom boom. So, Essentially, if you're just like in a, if you're in the proper terrain, then it's just plus four. So it's just a, always a wash. But if you're not in a proper terrain, like say an orchard, then then you could be screwed. Like my guy that was out in the open, the seven zero that was like an H two, he rolled like a three. He needed a three, but I wasn't in rally terrain, so that would have rallied him. So yeah, go for it, my man. Two rally. Here it comes. Oh, doesn't make it. Okay. But the DM counter comes off. The DM is removed. The DM is removed. Whew. This is going to be a crazy turn. Okay. We're going to start by doing some firing. All right. All right. And then some movement. Uh, you don't have to move. You can just stay where you are. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so let's uh, prep fire this fellow. To... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I got to rally. I'm sorry, I got to rally in X2. Oops, yeah, I got some guys. I forgot that the uh, Germans are broken. I, I just didn't okay. spot the DMs. So we will go for the uh, half squad in X2 first. He needs a base four. Rally terrain is five. Leaders makes it six. So he needs a rally of six. Ah, oh, I missed by one. And the unit behind him in W3, base five. Rally terrain is once. So he also needs a six. There we go. There's one bad boy up and right. We're ready to rock and roll. Hmm. All right, he's good. And uh, my leader will swap the LMG with the squad above him. He'll do a, he'll do a support weapon transfer. Dosh in X three. I didn't do that last game, but it didn't really make a difference. So my last turn. All right, all right. Got it. Almost forgot all that stuff. Go for it. Prep fire, big yep, boy. Prep fire. Uh, that's Rodriguez to um, the squad in here. W two. All right, and again, could I ask if you uh, if you could not use the um uh, the circle thing? Just, oh, okay, just okay. See the hex. Because the the map like bounces all over hell and back. I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, no, it's okay. It's a small map, so if you just count, if you count, oh four three six right down the road or something like that, or W two or. Yeah. Alan likes to uh, use the circle thing to declare the. Yeah. Map, but I'll, yeah, I'll, that's fine. Point. That's fine. Okay, so uh, that would be a 10. 10, and on the infantry fire table, 
Is there a 10? There's not a 10 on the infantry fire table. Oh, so what does it go down to? Um, okay, it goes down to 8. I'm looking at uh, the uh, normal fire table. Am I looking at that? <laughs> and the rat char charts. I was looking at the rat charts. Uh, well, you can look at the rat charts, but there are no 10s on the rat charts. There aren't any. Nope. Nope. There not unless it's uh, not unless it's incremental. Okay. It's uh, right on the cover page, right? Are the rat charts? Uh, I think so. I don't have my rat charts with me. Okay. I just use the I just use the uh the chart in game. Okay. So. Oh yeah yeah yeah. If you're uh, yeah go ahead go right ahead go right ahead. Eight plus three, correct? Uh, correct. Yeah, because it's a fortified location. Okay, and now I'm going to click on the IFT button, right? Right, and you have a yes IFT button. Eight, nine, ten, missed by one. Missed by one. I did not retain. Uh, Correct. Okay, so now uh, the two sixes. Okay. The two sixes will fire at the squad in V1. So that's V1, it. yes, sir. Okay. So that is a uh, 12 plus 3. Yep. 8, 9, 10, 11. And again, another miss by simply 1. Okay. Um, now we'll begin uh, movement. We're good? Yes, sir. Okay, movement. We'll start with this squad here. And YM4. Gotcha, the guy in the back, okay. Yep. One. Uh, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he's at orange, cut. Two. All right, we may have to shoot him. Yep, we're gonna shoot him. Okay. Uh, four, four, seven, and V1, we'll have to take that shot. You will first fire. That's six firepower. Uh, you tell me what the modifiers are. Uh, minus two. Uh, oh, sorry, not not quite six. It's gonna be four. Okay. Uh, minus two for what? Uh, first fire non-assault movement, and first okay. fire moving in the open. Uh, look at U one. What does U one do to that fire, if anything? Ah, that's a hindrance. So it's Correct. a minus. Uh, that's a plus one for that hindrance, so it's uh, minus one only. Right, because that's inherent terrain. The orchard is inherent terrain. Okay. And so, uh, and my squad is out of is out of range. So instead of six, it'll be four. So that's a six hex range, but yet it's uh he's only has a four range. So he's two. And the LMG is three. So that makes it five. But I will take the four minus one. <laughs> I will try and take that. And boom, no rate, but that might be a pin task check, which is good. Okay, pin task check. Here goes six or less, correct? Yes, sir. Makes it. Okay, he's good. So he's first fired. Uh, I'm going to leave residual there because I don't know what you're going to do. Okay. So that's going to be how much? You tell me how much residual I leave there. Is it one? Half the firepower. Half. The firepower was four base. So it's two, half. And is there anything else that will affect the residual beyond just having? I'm not sure. The orchard will also reduce the residual. Oh, darn. By one again? It will reduce it by the next lower column, yeah. So it will be a one firepower. Normally it would be two if that orchard were not there. But because the orchard is there and it hindered the fire, it will reduce it down one more. So it will go down to a one, which is better than nothing. Okay. All right, you may continue. Oops. Three. Okay, I will um, sustain fire. Oh, I can't. Uh, you're good. I can't. I can't sustain fire the LMG. I would love to, but I can't. Okay. And f four. You dirty rat. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with that guy. We're gonna have to punish him. E E two. Oh. E E two. Mm -hmm. Oh, where E E two? Mm -hmm. Oh, on the other board. Okay, gotcha. Go right ahead. Assault move. Uh, 
uh, back that way. Okay. You. Oh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. He's going to be swamped. Oh. Okay. Let's see. What is he going to do? I. I will take that shot, my good sir. Um. I don't really want to. But that's not where I thought you'd go. Oh, this DM's gone. Um, yeah, because he's going to be swamped over here anyway, so we might as well shoot that guy. The C3, the 436 in the woods, will take that shot. Mm -hmm. And that will be long range again, because 4X range. They'll take that shot at 2 minus 2, or 2 minus 1, since you're a non assault, since you're assault moving. Mm -hmm. So 2 minus 1. Mm -hmm. I'll take that shot. Uh, that is a four on the two chart, which is a one morale check. Five or less. Doesn't make it. Ooh, barely missed it. Mm. Oh, he actually, that kind of helped him, to be honest with you. Strange as that may sound, that kind of helped him. Mm. That's really strange. Tell me how that helped him, George. Well, he'll be able to, um to uh, retreat into EE2. And nope. Then, no? You, you may not go there. Well, Why can't you go there? Uh, he's close to a known enemy unit, a broken unit. Correct. He will be getting closer to the known enemy unit. Mm -hmm. But how does that help you otherwise? Where, Since you can't go to EE2, where can you go? CC2. CC2 is probably where you're going to go anyway. So you get a free movement out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't control it because you're broken. Yeah. And when you rally, but that's essentially it gets, it gets you a free movement phase to, to go that direction. So, but uh, at least you, you know, better than nothing. Sometimes being broken is a blessing, sometimes it's not. That's why it's a crazy, crazy ass game. Mm. All right, continue your move. Okay. Um. One. Uh, tell me who's moving. Oh, sorry, it was uh, uh the squad in YJ three. Oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, just a J oh, J three K okay, one. Uh, ooh. Oh, let me check the LOS. I mean, ooh. Oh. Go ahead, J two, huh? Hmm. Yeah, all right. You baited me with the other guy. Go ahead. I can't shoot at him. Two, three. Okay. I'll be damned if he goes CX. You're good? Yep. Um, can I temporarily overstack a, a hex? You may not overstack an SK at any time. Well, not true. You can't overstack squads. If you overstack vehicles and you end the movement phase overstacked, one of the vehicles is automatically destroyed. So I can move through a, a, a hex containing three squads and continue you, my movement? Only if you're a leader. Uh, you, may not, you may not overstack squads okay. at any time. Okay, only single man counters. At right, any time. which is which is different than which is different than ASL. Hmm. That's a big that's a big difference between ASL and starter kit is you may overstack. You get a penalty, but you may overstack. But it actually blocks your movement. There's a lot of games I've played where like we got to get guys off the board or you want to move units up forward to drop smoke, and there's like a big fat stack in your way. It's like you got to split it all up, and it 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 gets messy. It gets messy. But yes, you uh you may not overstack. So I may have to uh, um, the squad and I two is going to I two yes roll roll for smoke. Okay, to what location? And I one. Okay. Smoke attempt placement. Is is he moving with the leader? He will. 
would be moving with the leader. Okay. All right. If the smoke attempt doesn't fail. Right. But what they're moving, what you're doing is they're moving together. So, like, if I were to fire on him, mm -hmm. and if the leader's moving with him, then the leader would be subject to that fire. But if the leader's not moving with the squad, then he he would not be subject to any defensive first fire on him. Okay. So I just want to—I didn't know if you were moving the leader with him or not. Okay. Uh, not that I can fire on him, but um, you know, it happens. But go ahead, smoke. Drop your smoke, and I won. So one die roll. I need a two, correct? Correct. Exit. Oh, there it is. So what? And so I that would be. A two movement factor expenditure for both units. Okay. Uh, and it costs an additional point to, to move into a smoke hex, correct? It costs an additional movement factor to move into a smoke hex, correct. So where do I get the smoke from? Smoke counter should be on your top bar. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be in one of your drop down menus. Uh, I've actually edited my menu to make it uh, easier for me to pick up stuff. Like, uh, I get a lot of tank stuff in the... I got a tank stuff in one drop-down. Like, prisoners, a bunch of weird stuff. I've got all my control markers and weird overlays, another one. So I'm not sure where yours... But I can go to the smoke, too, if you want, but... Is it smoke um, level two, or...? Smoke, oh. the green smoke level okay, two. Yeah, I got all my smoke and blazes in one drop-down menu. And that way, and that's a solid... Because a lot of uh, smoke is extremely important. So you want to have that handy-dandy, for sure. So you already expended... Two movement factors. Two uh, movement factors. Going yes. to the smoke will be another two that makes a four. Correct. And going to the woods would be a six. Correct. Or go to Y1 would be only five. So you can make it to Y2 at six. You stroll down the road. It's a paved road, so you can move faster. I'll give you half movement factors for the paved road if you want to go down the paved road. And there's no, uh, there's no bypass. No bypass. Ha. Huh. Yeah, big difference. <laughs> big difference. Yeah, I uh, I played. Uh, I finished the starter game uh, the other day, and then I played a ASL game last night, and my brain like almost exploded because the the, the different movement factors. Uh, what was it? I have like five different elevations in the map, and lots of weird terrain, and uh, it makes your mind work. So it makes it exciting. It's, it's an exciting. It's exciting to play with crazy terrain. I remember watching your dash for the bridge. And you were talking about the bypass movement, and uh, it's huge. It's mm -hmm. huge. It changes the game. <laughs> it changes the game. So, okay, let's see where this takes us. Uh, okay, here's he is at four. Two, four, correct. And I may fire on you in that location. Okay. So if you go there, and I fire on you, you're going to have the plus two smoke, which is going to negate the movement in the open. And you'll have minus one non-assault move, so that'll be a plus one. Uh, so if I fire on you there, it's uh, if you move into either one of the woods, it's going to actually be an easier shot for me. So I will not fire. Hmm. Although that would stick you out and kind of in the open, so it's kind of nice. But or if you were to pin, but I don't have a lot of units that can see you. I don't think uh, that might be tight. But you may proceed. While well, I'm freezing my butt off with my AC. Okay. Well, that was a stupid move on my end. And you can move back. Yeah. No. Uh... So, I have a choice. Either I go to, that's 8, 12, uh, plus 1, or that would be 4, 8, 12. And that's a suicide. Suicide. Not good. Suicide. Pick suicide. Ah, that side, huh? Mm -hmm. right, we have to fire on you there. Mm -hmm. Let's see if anybody else can make it to my Jason X. One, two, three, four, CX. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, hmm.
I've got a lot of units that could fire in that location. First of all, let me... One, two, three is four, so I can't fire him over there, unfortunately. All right, darn it. So Zorn... Zorn will fire, um, you know what? There's a smoke there. Those guys are going to be moving up. I don't want to blast everything. Six. The problem is that's a nine morale unit. That's a nine morale leader. It's essentially a good nine and eight morale. So I need to get a good shot on you. I need at least eight firepower on you. I don't want to shoot everything because that means all your guys will be free to move. Um, we'll fire. We'll fire Zorn and the conscript beneath him. He will fire at four even, mm -hmm. minus one non assault movement, and the woods cancel each other out. So it's going to be a four even shot. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be nothing. That will leave uh, two residual though, because he does not cower. Um, I don't think anybody else can get to that woods. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they might. You know, we are... We're going to subsequent first fire, Zorn. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be two even as well. Mm -hmm. Seven on the two is miss. All right. Let's see what else we can drum up. Uh, Dosh in the back will fire. Mm -hmm. Six plus, six even mm -hmm. for Dosh. Uh, seven is probably the best I'm going to get. Seven, that's a normal morale check. Okay, leader first. The leader first. Makes it. Makes it. Uh, the squad needs an eight or less now. Mm-hmm. Squad morale check. Okay, Excellent. he's good. Yep. All right, you're good. No other fire. No other fire. No other fire. Hmm. Good old struggle. If a unit goes C CX, how much additional movement factors does he have? Well, how much do you think? Uh, two more. Two more movement factors. Hmm. So instead of four, we can go six. Or eight. He will go CX. He is Y E four. Okay, I see him. So it's hold on. One, two. Okay. Three. Uh, we will subsequent first fire on the location. That will be a two minus two mm -hmm. on that guy there. Uh, seven on the two. Is that anything? That is a miss. And hold on. I've got other shots. So that is going to be one residual. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, let's see. We are going to fire the LMG and one squad with Strobel. Mm -hmm. That will be, um, uh, you know what? Two, four, 
two, four, six. We're going to fire the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. The strobe and the whole shebang will fire directly at him. Let's drop it to the line of sight. That will hind be hindered by the orchard only. Mm -hmm. Well, there's not much of a building next to it, is there? So that'd be two, four, seven firepower. Mm -hmm. uh, your minus one non-assault movement is canceled by the orchard, but I have a negative one leadership modifier, so it's going to be a six minus one. Mm -hmm. Uh, five on the six chart is a only a one more. It's not much. It's five on the six chart. Yes. Is a one morale check, so he needs five or less. Yep. Breaks. So we flip him. Yes. And the CX will come off. Mm -hmm. And that will leave. Uh, how many how many residual firepower would that leave? Uh, let's see. You fired on the six. Six chart. Six chart. Half would be three, because of the orchard. It goes down to one. Right. So it doesn't change. Hmm. Okay. okay. Well, this fellow is going to go CX as well. So he goes one. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Well, can I take that one back? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we were at uh, one, two, three. three. Uh, four and a half. Nope, just four. That's one movement factor. All right. Um, we, I don't think that's a blocked LOS. We're going to subsequent for fire, Strobel and his buddies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check the LOS. LOS in Star Kit maps is pretty porous. So that's a straight shot. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's a two, four, five and a half. So that'll be a four minus two mm -hmm. because the hindrance no longer applies because you are in the hindrance. Mm -hmm. So it's not assault and the minus one liter. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a four minus two. And I have to fire the LMG. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So four minus two. So that is a seven on the four, which is a oof, pin chat, pin task check. Okay, so I take a pin task check, a TC. TC. When he passes, how much residual is left in that location? Uh, I think it's another one. Calculated how? Let's see, you fired on a six, on a six chart? I fired on a four chart. You fired on a four chart. Okay. Uh, half would be two, the hindrance doesn't count. So what am I saying one for? Is it, is it I don't two? know. It's two. two. You're it's correct. Two. Boom. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. One, two, three, four. That is four movement factors. You may continue. A moves into the building. Which building do he, does he want to move into? Um, having a broken squad in a building doesn't count as taken, correct? Correct. You're not in good order. Hmm. So he'll go into here. And that was a dumbass move what I did. I should have gone there to begin with. That's all right. You're probably heading for AA2. That's, that's fine. It's all good. Okay. Mm. You're alive. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Sometimes silly things turn out. For sure. Okay. Uh... Y G four. Okay. Uh, one two. Three. And uh, Y J three. Yes. Hmm. One. Two three. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Is 
that a one? Uh, where'd you move from? Uh, D5? D3. D3 to D4. D3 to D4. You mean D5? Uh, I was in D3, the flamethrower. Well, D3 is right adjacent by 436. So you were next to the flame? You were next to Flynn, right? Mm. You were right here, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's just entering a wood tax. That's two. Two. And four. Two, four. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll final protective fire. Okay. I'll take that shot. It's gonna be. It's a free shot, so I'm going to die otherwise. So I might as well take the shot. That's a flamethrower. So that is a four firepower. And what are the modifiers? Uh, even. Even. I did assault move. I still get uh, a minus one, even though I'm going into the. Uh, I'm in the woods. Well, the woods is plus one, right? The woods are plus one. It's non assault movement, right? So it's minus uh -huh. one. Right. Uh, I'm not moving in the open. So it's. What's even. on the backside? What's on the backside of the flamethrower? Oh, another minus one. Yeah. Yep. So that'd be a four minus one. Okay. I'll take it. And it was a morale check for B, so I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And you are a uh, one morale check. And that's uh, five or less. Breaks. Wow, that's huge. And how much residual is in that location? Uh, you fired on a force. It's a two. Uh, doesn't go down for being in the woods? No. Only hindrances between the targets. Okay. Between the target location, yep. Okay. So now we're going to go one, two, three, four. So now here is a different story in terms of final protective fire because you're only going to have, well, you're going to have six firepower, but it's going to be plus one instead of 24 even, right? Mm -hmm. So in this instance, I will not take the final protective fire because you're going to be four even, which means if I roll a six, I'm going to be pinned. I'd love to take that shot, but I can't afford for him to be broken. Okay. Uh, if he can stay alive, he can stop that entire side because I can just back up another hex. So yeah. I'm going to hopefully not get shot by your buddy in here. So I'm taking a chance on that one. All right. No, no other fire from that guy. Okay. Uh, defensive fire phase. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got control F. Defensive fire phase, I have probably nothing. Let's see. Oh, my guy's first fired. Uh, he's final, can't do anything. Okay. No defensive fire. Okay. Advancing fire, fire phase? Hmm? Advancing fire phase? Yes. So, uh, my 666 in uh, J1. J1. Um, so he's halved. That goes down to three. And he has assault uh, fire. Mm -hmm. So that goes up to round it up. Goes to four. Correct. Uh, two V1. So it's four yes. plus three. Yes. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Misses. Okay. Um, it's inherent firepower, so I put advancing fire here. Uh, again, it's a uh, inherent firepower. Um, and P two to V one. That's up four. If oh, right. LOS. Uh, it's close. close. Yeah. Well, you want to check it? Yeah. Oh, it does. looks clear. It looks clear. Okay. So Scratch, scratches the woods, but it's clear. So that's uh, four up four. Yes. Yep. That guy likes the four up four shot, doesn't he? Hey. Yep. So that's a five oh, plus four, nine. Doesn't make it. Wow. Okay. Yep. Um, well, Greco 
Greco, he's going to advance fire. Hold on. Hey, babe. Quick, so, don't think about it. Where's our meatloaf? Uh, meatloaf. There we go. To... Where are we going? To X2. X2, gotcha. All right, wow, big boy. Two. He's going he's gonna to DM my guy, huh? DM that conscript half squad. Uh, you're a... Oh, wow, man. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention shooting conscripts. Hmm. Broken conscripts. Well, I'm after the leader, actually. He's a minus <laughs> <laughs> He's a minus uh, one. Yeah, that's true. So, true that. And there's a big fat stack there, so... Yeah. Looks attractive, like the toy in Kellogg's uh, Rice Krispies, I suppose. Yeah, so attractive. <laughs> yeah, a little Formula right. One plastic car. So um, that squad also has assault fire. Two and a mm -hmm. half goes up to three, plus two goes to f four plus one. If I calculated everything correctly, with the MG. Uh, the MG may not fire. Oh, darn. So, two and a half. Two and a half. Rounding up doesn't take me to four. No, but the plus one does. Plus one. You you have to round up, add one. Okay. Uh, so, that's a four plus one. Four plus one. Nothing. A 10 is a miss, thank goodness. He doesn't cower because he's for the leader. All right. And advancing fire here. All right. I know I shouldn't have left the door open, but... So that's... Uh... A 6. Yes, sir. A 6 plus... Why one. is it a 6? Uh... Halved. It's two point five. Well, don't 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 calculate the halved. Just halved and doubled because you're half for vampire and, and doubled. So that way you don't have to think. You don't have to half anything. So you just halved and double cancel. Yep. So then you just add one. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's much easier. A lot of guys will waste a lot of time. Like if they have two or three squads, they'll do all the halves, all the fractions, and then double. It's like the halved and double. Just it's just it's, it's a wall. It's like, uh, it's like moving in woods. You don't. There's no. There's no tem. Okay. So you don't have to calculate. But yeah, gotcha. Six. Yeah, the, the have them. But yeah, technically you do have it, and then you double it, and then you add one. But the quick and dirty of it. So that's a, that's a nasty six plus one shot. That's a, that's a good shot. Okay. Missed. He missed by one. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a good shot, though. That is a good shot. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what you can do. I'm silly. All right. So is that it for your advance fire? I, th I think so. Not phase. I have one unit, but you have a couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. A bunch of squads coming up on me. I don't know. Okay, I wrote first. Yes, sir. I wrote here. Then this fellow goes one, two, three, four. Okay. These guys go. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I believe that's the only route I have. Okay, the conscript will route back for me. Okay. You can take the leader with them. I could. Strobel kind of doesn't really care about those guys anymore. He's tried to rally him a couple turns, and you know, you know Gawk. They the Gawk is just the the people's choice. Okay. You know, the people just love to rally around Gawk. Okay. And Dosh, well, Dosh is just he's the good-looking one. He's in the back. He's he's keeping himself pretty. That's where all the food is back there. That's the food storage that we have for the troops. Hmm. Uh, advance phase. Hold on one second. Yep. 
All right, that'll work. Uh, advance phase, yes, advance phase. Okay, squad over at uh, P2. Yep. We'll advance into P1. Okay. Uh, Greco, with this squad and MMG, will advance from Z0 to Z1. The unit that went CX, can he advance as well? Yeah, why not? Uh, this fellow will advance here, and one squad will advance into the woods. Okay. Uh, the leader will advance onto the broken unit. And um, I'm going to be audacious and advance onto your four three six. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Anything else? That's it. Hey. So we have an ambush. I'm a bush. I am. Hmm. Uh. I don't know if the concept of lax is in starter kit. I think. Let me so. get my starter kit. Let me get my starter kit chart. Sure. Okay, uh, ambush modifiers, inexperienced. It says plus one for inexperienced. So that would be the semi-equivalent to um, uh, the lax in ASL. So because the uh, Vazel doesn't have the ASK, they simplify it down to simply being inexperienced. So that's plus one for me, and um, that's it. And so uh, you're even, and I'm plus one. Okay. So my roll is a four, which is a five. Okay, and I do a one die roll as well. Hmm. I do a one die roll as well, right? Yep. Sure. I roll. And five. you roll a five. Okay, cool. So no ambush there. So we're just a straight up shot. Okay. So what are the odds? It looks like one to one. Yeah, one to one for you, and one to two for me. <sighs> Man, I hate one to two. Four to five is terrible. I go first. I need a five or less. Mm -hmm. I need a five or less. Yes. And it's the CC button. Correct. All right, there's a kill. And I need a four or less. And that is not a kill. So he is gone. So that thorn in your side is finally gone. Hmm. That's too bad. That's a good CC right there. He deserves a Medal of Honor. He sure does. <laughs> he I think he broke that. like 15 units over there. Hmm. He, a, he and the other guy held off like four or five squads, so that's huge. And he broke, he broke two squads that turn. That's crazy. Yeah, absolutely good. Absolutely good. Good deal. Loved it if he would have kept that guy in close in a CC though. <laughs> but the four, uh, the four. It was never meant to be. He was out of ammo. Yeah. Out of ammo. All right, German turn five. Let's see what we get going on here. I have a, I have a singular rally in W3. And a six will not do it. I think he needed like a negative five, something nasty. DM is terrible. Okay. 
And then you have plenty of rallies, I think, or maybe just one. You give one. Oh, I had a self rally. And I have a, I'll do my self rally on FF3 too. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, not good enough. Huh? So that five would have been sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, that's too bad. All right, go ahead. I think you just hit the flamethrower guy. So he needs um, nine or less. No. No, five or less. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't make it. Okay. All those demons are gone. So rally is gone. Prep fire phase. Are we going to prep fire? That's the question. Uh, we should get rid of all the movements. There. Right. There we go. So prep firing. Dosh six 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 up league plus three building. We don't have to take that shot if we don't need to. Breaking that unit's gonna be more effective. Six twelve. Four, eight, twelve, eighteen, twenty. Twenty plus three was not too bad. Um, it's six. Okay. Let's see. I think I can ignore him. Should we fire? Should we fire? All right, let's um, make a tough choice for me here. Mm -hmm. Tough choices. Greco's right there. He's a sweet target, but there are some other juicy targets as well. Other juicy targets as well. Tough. That is tough. Twelve, twelve, six plus two. Let's see that LOS. Okay, we have to do that. All right, uh, Strobel will fire the two squads beneath him. Mm -hmm. At the BB2 unit, four, four firepower, or eight firepower, rather, plus two mm -hmm. from the leadership modifier. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a snake, guys, when you need one. 
So it's a four on the eight chart, which would be a two morale check. Oh, that's a good shot. Okay. Uh, four life. Breaks. Okay. That helps. Okay, the LMG will fire at CC2. That would be a two plus three. Oh. Oh, that will not DM him. Because it's a plus three shot. I could do anything, so he uh, he won't fire there. That was a mistake. Oh, that's too bad. Ah, I messed that one up. Okay, I right. can't okay. do anything about that. Let's see, he's plus three. Everyone else is plus three, so he really can't do anything with the LMG. So just prep that whole stack. Four plus three, six plus one, two, three. So how many buildings do you need? 25, is that right? Oh, man. 25 on map board Z. 25 or more locations on map board Z. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. Wow, yep. You have to control a lot. Okay, so... um. You're going to be able to fire on me even if I back up. So W2 will fire. Since you're going to fire, be able to fire on me anyway. W2 will fire on the 666 in the woods in like V0. Mm -hmm. So he'll fire 4 plus 1. Mm -hmm. 7 on the 4 chart. Is it pin task check? I'll take it. Okay. Makes it. Okay, he's good. So he preps. Um... Heck, Zorn will fire point blank. A plus, A plus one. Zorn will fire as well. Mm. A plus one. Pin test check. Mm. Yeah, yeah, pins. That helps. That helps a lot. I put a pin. Yeah. And then, uh... No one else will fire. We'll go to movement phase. Mm -hmm. Movement phase. Come on. I hate it when it highlights two different things. It's kind of annoying. How come he went DM? He shouldn't have gone DM. Hmm. Because I did, like, because it highlighted with the stupid turn counter and hmm. it flips and all this other crap goes on. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the whole stack, like, flipped upside down. This guy's broken. He's not DM, though. Alright. So... I think you can get F1. Uh, the 4, 3, 6, and uh, W3 will move 2 to V2. Okay. And it's about all the farther he can move, <laughs> uh, to be honest with you. Um... The V1 units will, wow, let's see, that porous LOS, probably has LOS to that, we're not going to bother. We'll assault move, uh, we'll just assault move back one. Gawk will stay where he is, Dosh, Dosh will assault move to W4. And that's it for a good guy's movement phase. Okay. Uh, defensive fire phase. Defensive fire? Yeah, that's pretty mediocre. Pretty mediocre shot. Pinned a guy, though, so I'm excited. Okay, well, the pinned guy can fire at half but doubled, right? So normal six plus four. Right. Plus four. Uh, plus four, right. Six plus four. So that's final fire. Here... To X one. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, final fire. Here, Z one to X two. So okay. that would be 
8 plus 1. Mm -hmm. Eight on eight, I believe, is a morale check, right? Okay, yes, and that is another fortified location. Oops, so that would be a miss, right? No, it'd be a pin test check. Okay. But uh, for some reason, I can't. There we go. Okay. What? Yep, there we go. So this building is another. That's the Alamo. That's the Alamo. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's fantastic for all those guys. Oh my god. Oh, these guys hip. Give me a break. Holy crap. They weren't even on the map. They were invisible on the map and I selected them through that. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, okay. He's hit. There we go. So we need an eight. For the struggle, mm -hmm. for pin, he's good. And two eights, eight eight. So everyone's good. Okay. Uh, Twelve plus four. Uh, so uh, final fire. Two. Sorry, uh, V two. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it's point blank, I mean V two is easy actually easier to say than actually clicking that and so yeah yep i knew which guys you i knew which guys you were firing at he's that's the only guy he could see so it's 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 pretty straightforward yeah a lot of guys overuse the the circle so much you don't you don't you don't mm -hmm. see them, but some guys they they it's like they're italian they got to talk with their hands they got to talk with the <laughs> cursor or something so so but uh yeah we got you 12 plus four eight on a 12 chart Oh, that cowers. Okay, so that goes down one. Uh... Hey, yeah, yeah, that's a morale check. That's a good shot. All right. Wow. Morale check. Oh, and he breaks. Darn it. Ah, oh, no, no. Good shot. Fortified location. Good hard shot. So now what? Uh, it's inherent firepower, and we don't know if he has LOS. So. <sighs> probably an improbable shot it is improbable forget it but if the 666 and p1 were to be able to fire to the unit in v2 it would have been one two three plus seven three what would be three it's a normal range it'd be six plus seven you have a rat's chance in hell oh. Yeah, rats, shots, and all, correct. All right, so, uh, final fire. Here. Hmm. Two. W2. Yep. So that would be a eight plus three. Yep. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's a pin test check. Mm -hmm. He pins. Wow. Come on, Gawk. We need to rally that unit. We need everybody up and going. I don't believe I have anybody else. Okay. Uh, advanced fire? Yep. I have none. Okay. Rob phase? Uh, he'll move. Hmm. <clears throat> he'll move. He needs a... He would need a... F Four if I stayed there. He would need a four if I stayed there. He's pinned so he can't move. Oh uh, boy. That's not what I wanted to have happened. Uh, 
All right. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, route phase, no, no routes for me. Okay, I have a route. Yeah. And do I have anybody else? Nope. And then advance phase. Uh, he's going to advance down here. Gawk is going to advance over here. Ooh. I have to split that up. Okay. Um, does it do him any good to move, to be my opinion? I really want that. It's not a good thing to do. Uh, he's going to advance here. Uh, Dosh is going to advance in that location. And uh, I need to split strobel. Zorn, I think I need to move. Hmm. Eight plus three. One, two. Thanks, Strobel. I will do something like this. Actually, Dosh will move down. Strobel moves one guy down there, and I think Strobel will. Strobel will probably. I should actually stay alive, don't I? Strobel will stay there. He's a man. That's probably a mistake. Close combat, none. Route phase, or rally phase. Bad guy turns six. All right. Bad guy turns six, rally phase? Bad, bad guy turns six, rally phase. Okay, so CC2. We'll attempt to self rally. With uh, hit or less. We're good. Mix it. Uh, C5. What am I doing? Stu, I can't hear you anymore. That's fine. Continue to rally. Okay, so C5, he needs a 9 or less. Makes it, right? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, all's fine and dandy. The other two broken squads back there. Forget about it. Okay, ready for prep fire? No, I've got a couple. I got one rally. Okay. Uh, you didn't V two. Yep. Uh, that'll rally him. I need a three plus one for the building is four. Good deal. Okay. That's huge. That's a huge rally right there. I think uh, nobody uh, nobody can rally the broken. I moved Dosh down. So that's it for me. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we move on to prep fire phase. Prep fire? Yeah. 2x1. 
So that's a 12 plus 4. All right. 12, Oof. 3. 7, one more check. Yeah, that'll hurt. One morale check, right? Uh, one morale check. Yep. Okay. Uh, both break. Both break. Is that for the level two building? Yeah, I don't have LOS to it. If I occupy the fort, do I get the benefit of the plus four as well? Oh well. Another prep fire, Z1, two, X. Yeah, you do the fortification. There's no reason why you wouldn't. Okay. So that would be uh, that is five, four, eight, plus two on Strobel. Correct. Mm. Missed. That was a good one. That was a close shot. You do have ready to fire with your machine gun, though. Hmm. That's all she wrote. Okay. Holy cow. Let's prep fire again. Here to W2. So that is another 8 uh, plus 3. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, where the heck am I going now with this? I think... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for movement. Okay. Okay. Starting from left to right. P1. Assault move. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, J1. One, two. J1. Yep. One, two. Um, all right, go ahead. Three. Continue. Can't continue into the woods, can he? No. No. Okay. Hmm. He's going to attempt to make smoke. And J1. Okay. Into. What is that one? I1? Yes. Okay. And he needs a three or less? Three or less, yep. Makes it. 
There you go. Love America's smoke making capabilities. Pretty smoke, good. Uh, plus two, right? Plus two. Smoke plus two and level two. That's the green one. Yep. Well, let me select it. Drag and drop. Hmm? Oh, there. Are oh, you dragging it? Yep. Now I did. There you go. So he's expended two moon factors. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to continue moving? Yep. Uh, not with this squad, though. Okay. So he's done? Yeah. So let's just mark him moved. So the squad that's going to move... And he's going to go CX. And he's not moving with the leader. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, I see him. I mean, like I said, you don't have to highlight him. Small map, uh, I can see him. That's I good. Trying to okay. see, I, I wanted to sh uh, select shift. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just a single unit. Well, you just grab the edge or grab the guy. You don't really need to pull those CX on. I know CX, so. Okay. That's one. Okay. Two. Uh, okay. Three. Okay, the poorest building. Uh, I think it's an LOS, to be honest with you. Who else hasn't moved? Everyone's prep fire moved. He's the only other guy I could fire at. Right? One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, Strobel will take a shot at him. Mm -hmm. That's a straight shot. The building's not in the way. You know, escape buildings. Mm -hmm. They kind of exist and they don't exist at the same time. So that will be a... What's the firepower on that one? What are the modifiers? One, two, three, four, four, plus three, that's a seven, goes down to six, uh, even. Uh, even for what? Uh, not even, it's a minus one. Uh, for, for the leader, right? Well, hold on one second. There, there are modifiers, there's, um, Minus one for non-assault movement. All right. Uh, minus one for uh, moving in the open. Nope. No. What's the problem? What's what's an AA one? Uh, that's a hindrance. Right. Which does what to the first fire movement in the open modifier? Okay, and negates it. Negates it. So it's a minus two. Correct, because of Strobel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Otherwise, it would be a minus three. So mm -hmm. it's a minus two. So six minus two, I'll take that shot. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a six on the six. Should be a one morale check. Yep, one morale check. So he needs a five or less. Yes. Damn it. Breaks. Okay. Uh, oh, it's first fire. Yep. Uh, a leader will go. Where should he go? Let's forget the leader for now. This okay. guy's going to go CX. All right. <clears throat> One. Two. All right. He's, yep. Got him. Got a guy. Mm -hmm. Three. Four, five. Six, seven. 
Uh, nope. No. Damn it. Seven movement factors? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty fast guy. Mm, there you go. Here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is going to be a stupid move, but here goes nothing. One. No, sure. Two, three. Okay. Four, five. Okay. Flamethrower is going CX and they're moving with the leader. All right, sounds good. One, two. Three, four. Five, six. Okay. Seven. All right. Eight. All right. I don't think you can move anymore. You are correct. Hmm. Um, he moved, he moved, he moved. CC2 is the last unit you have to move. CC2? CC2 is the only unit left. He'll attempt to fire smoke. That's fine. Hmm? He'll attempt what, to fire what location? smoke in CC3, I believe. CC3. Okay. Gotcha. So he needs a three or less. Yep. Mix it. Piece of cake. That's two. That's two, three. And that was. He can't do assault move and, and throw smoke, right? You may assault move and throw smoke, but you can't expend more than your uh, allotted movement factors. So no, he, he that would not uh, can constitute an, as an eligible move what he did there for assault move. So he's uh, he's out there. Okay. Uh, the, nothing else to do with X three, but X three will fire on him. Okay. Uh, again, he's standing there, and it's a clear shot. There's a range of six, half firepower. Through the smoke is plus two. Uh, non assault movement is minus one, so that is a two plus one. Not a good shot, but better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh, that, that will cower to a one, so that'll be a one morale check. A three on the one is a one morale check, so he's fine. Okay. Wow, Snake Eyes helps. Okay. Morale check. One morale check. So he's pinned. Okay. Which helps. Wow. Four six advance. Wow, you can get a whole bunch of buildings. Hmm. Five, six, seven. Well, it's a good thing that uh, that he threw that smoke. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. Oh yeah, he'll be annihilated. All right, very cool. So that's it. All right, good deal. So let's get rid of uh Huh. Where's the smoke? Oh residual. Residual gets rid of the smoke. Okay. Alright. Uh firing the other guys. Gawk. Gawk will fire over on the left hand side. Since it's the same shot in J1, he'll fire 6 plus 3 over there. Mm -hmm. That'd be no effect. Uh, might as well fire up there. Uh, 2 plus 3, he'll fire 2 plus 3 up there. That's another no effect. I'm just going to put first fires, but they're not going to be able to fire at anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, Dosh and X4 mm -hmm. 
-hmm. will fire at your pin unit in the middle of the, in the open ground. Mm -hmm. That will be four, even. Mm -hmm. No effect. And uh, W2 will fire straight forward, four plus three. Mm -hmm. No effect. And that's it for me. Wow. Okay. Advanced fire? Uh, it's inherent firepower. So, advanced fire, that would be uh, no chance in hell. Forget it. They're fortified hexes. None. Yeah. All right. A route phase? Uh, he can route into BB1 from BB0. There's no known enemy unit. BB0? Is he getting closer to anybody? Nope. BB1 to BB0. Four. Four. Oh, you're correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm, you might want to put them on the bottom. Okay. With a DM counter? Yeah, because the other guy's not DM'd, right? Unless you want to take his DM penalty. Nope. That works? Uh, nope. Click the DM. And one. And. Eight. Yeah, uh, just click the DM counter mm -hmm. and arrow to the left or right. Oh, I see. There you go. There you go. Uh, to the right, one more. Go to the right. Is that better? Yep, perfect. Okay. All right, okay. That's the only broken unit now. Oh, interesting. Good. I've got a broken, two broken units here. One, two, three, four, five. He has to go straight down. Two. Four, I think, or one, two, three, five, six. Four, six there. And that's it for me. Hmm. Uh, advance phase? Sure. You can advance here. Whoops. Uh, that was uh, okay. to R1. Yep. Okay. Uh, X0. To X1. Uh, L1 to L0, I suppose. Yep. J1 to J0. Okay. Uh, the CX guys, can they advance? Sure, why not? You will advance here. Okay. Uh, he will advance here. And Rodriguez will advance here. And that's all I have. Okay. All right. Uh, my face should be actually pretty quick. Mm. Mine should be pretty quick. Um, let's go. I got a, a leader self rally in W4. He needs pretty low. I ain't going to do it. I will, um, I'll self rally the half squad in W3. Mm -hmm. That's not going to do it. Okay, this DM's gone. Boom. All right, your pin is gone. Your rallies? Sure. Uh, I need an eight or nine, actually, and okay. then uh, a four for the uh, DM squad, right? So a nine and a four. So yep, sounds good. Makes it. Doesn't make it. Hmm. Uh, and do I have any other values? I don't think so. Okay. Nope. 
Uh, okay, remove all DMs. Boom, where the moves going. Technically, your unit in FF3 is still DM because he's adjacent to an enemy unit. Yep. Yeah, I defaulted on that. That's right. All right. I'm uh, just trying to think about what I'm gonna have, what I have to get done, mm -hmm. and what I have to get done is not die. So I think what Dosh will prep fire. Dosh will prep fire on your six 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 and DD two. Mm -hmm. Actually, I could fire at him. That's a, that's a not, not a bad shot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two. Plus three. Dosh is not going to. Dosh is not going to direct the fire. Only the squad will fire. It's going to be a mm -hmm. two even shot on him. Mm -hmm. Okay, two even shot. Oh, there go. No effect. And then uh, the LMG was with Dosh's direction. Will fire on BB one. That'll be a two plus three. Let me check the LOS to that. Yep, straight up clear. Two plus three. Uh, I don't really care about the result. I just want to DM that guy. Um, that I can avoid. I can avoid all that. It's, hmm. Okay, uh, W2 mm -hmm. will fire on L0 for 4 plus 1. Mm -hmm. No effect. Okay, it's drill. Let's see. A bit. Twelve plus four. It's a garbage shot. Far across the street at Greco. Mm. Twelve plus three adjacent. Uh, yeah, Strobel. Strobel will fire adjacent. Okay. Uh, so that the net will be twelve plus three. Oh yeah. yeah. On the next one. Eight is a eight on the twelve is a one morale check. Oh, actually, seven, eight, nine, ten is a pin task check. Okay, pin task. Pin task check. Makes it. Not pinned. Hmm. All right. Okay, we got it made. Why is that unit DM? Oh, I must have put the wrong counter on him. All right. Uh.
Okay, that's all fire. We're going to move. Okay. I hate this phase marker. I never remember to turn it. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go to... Hmm. We're going to salt move into T3 from T from U4, the okay. unit down below. He's going to salt okay. move there. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, should I take a shot at it? Yeah, why not? If there is LOS. Uh, from where? R1. R1. Uh, it looks like it's blocked. It's blocked. Okay. Uh, I declared it right. Yeah. Did you check it? Oh yeah, check it. But it's yeah, pretty much blocked. S three pops the corner. You know where the LOS lines are, right? The LOS. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, in, there must be a a bug in the program. It does clip the building, uh, but it shows it as clear. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's a there's some sort of bug. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Yep. But well, so. So he's yeah he's he's first fired yeah so he's just moving yeah I just saw salt move there anyway so I'm not gonna move anymore likely move anybody closer so um and then the four four seven is the only other unit I have an F three he's just going to move hmm what do I want to cover is that's that's the question. He's going to move. He's going to assault move right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's it. Defensive fire face. Sure. Okay. Uh, final fire. Two X4. So we got there. Uh, an eight plus one. X four. X four. Oh yeah, 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 down there. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's a one morale check, I think. Morale check. Boom, boom. Both pass. Oh great. Uh, no rate of fire. Uh, okay. Final fire here to X2. So that's a 12 okay. plus 4. Correct. 8. Barely missed. Uh, yep. Okay. And another 6 plus 4. To W2. Gotcha. Mm. Seven on the six chart is a normal morale oh, check. Morale check. Oh, he pins. Darn, I had plans for that guy. Mm. I had plans. That's twice he's pinned. He's getting scared. I had plans for that unit right there. Three, three plus four is seven. On the six chart is a normal morale check. It's not a pin. What's that? It's a normal morale check. Six. You rolled a six, right? Uh, yeah. Well, no. Three. You rolled a three plus four is a seven. Seven on the six chart is a normal morale R check. Right. And I rolled a six. Oh, you rolled a six. All right. Pinned. And so that the equal to is a morale. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, let me just get rid of that. Okay. And final fire here to the same hex, W2. Yep. Nothing. Okay. And final fire here to Gok. Mm hmm. That's uh, 8 
plus three. Yep. Mm, nothing. And no effect. All right. Good deal. One, two, three. Darn. Six plus three. Let's check LOS. For more. Oh, it cuts the line of sight. Oh, over there? Okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh-oh. What oh? Uh, there. Okay, hold on. Final fire. Okay, and I uh, believe here. Final fire to X4. Okay. Six plus three. So that's uh Fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. Uh they're fine. Okay. Oh, Dosh is pulling it through. Yep. Dosh is pulling it through. I don't think I have any well. What am I gonna do with firing on a broken unit? All right. Goes down to eight plus three. From where? From the adjacent? Yep. Okay, uh plus four because you're CX. Oh, okay. No chance. Uh you can roll a four. Close. Okay. That's all right. That's a pin to attack, but he's unaffected by pins. So that's all good. Okay, good deal. All right. Is that all you got, man? That's everybody. Put markers on everybody. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. Uh, nothing happened. Advance fire. Hmm. Well, the Gawk, uh, two plus three. Gok will fire at Rodriguez. He'll fire two plus three. Mm -hmm. No effect. That was inherent firepower? Yeah, there's no need to fire the LMG. Okay. Um, nobody else is LOS, I don't think. So nobody else will fire. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go to oh, route phase. Uh, he has to route here. Hmm. Uh, you have a if you have a potential route in BB one, if you wish. I don't know if you want to route them or not. Nah. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we have advanced phase. Uh, let's mark them all unmoved. Advance him here. <clears throat> He's not going to see a lot, is he? He is not going to see a lot. We see. Oh, wait. He's right there. Hold on. Those conscripts are giving me a headache.
We've got rally fees. So um, last turn of the game, and you may rally your units. I got it with DM. Which one? VV1. Where? VV1. Somehow the DM counter went below him. Um. So. He should be undm right? Uh, did I fire on him? Uh. Yeah, I fired on him. Yeah. From uh, X4. Yep, yep, yep. So it would be uh. Four or less. Yep. Instead of an eight. Yep. Big difference. Yep. No, that doesn't so. make it. Okay. I can soft rally uh, one unit, so that would be in YE4. Okay. Makes it. Okay. And now we're your rally phase. Oh, I got some rallies. Hmm. I got the conscript in Gawk, W3, mm -hmm. needs a 5. Nope. I got uh, Zorn, mm -hmm. needs an 8. Makes and Hasquad needs a six. Oh, good deal. Wow, those guys are up. Conscripts coming back, baby. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. That is it for me. Prep fire phase. Rock prep and fire. roll. Okay. Uh, prep fire. <clears throat> 12 plus four on Strobel. Strobel, 12 plus four. Infantry fire table. Eesh. Ooh, that will be a cower, and that will be a twelve. That's good. Oh, wow, that's, that's like nothing. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, then put fire here to struggle again. So that gotcha. Would be, uh, eight plus two. Eight plus two. Ooh. Oh, that's your worst roll yet on that stack. Yep. Wow. Yep. That helps. Hmm. Hello, Rodriguez. For what it's worth, he will fire on V2. V2. Mm hmm. So what do you look at? Nothing. Uh, so that would be uh, 8 plus 3? Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, movement. Okay. So now the CX uh, come off? Uh, leave them on for now. They'll come off when you start moving them. That way you remember that they were already CX'd. Okay, so he will assault move here. Uh, okay. He will stay put. Now, Why did that clone? Oh, damn it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Okay. All that for nothing. Four to five buildings are thick. Yep. That plus one has made the difference in a number of your rolls. Yep. Yep. Uh, this guy will go CX, and he'll move as follows. One, two. Okay. Three, four. Okay. And five, six. Okay. Okay. 
He will assault Mu here. Okay. He'll, um, the leader and the flamethrower are just going to stay put. Oh, okay. All right. So Sounds final, good. Final, uh, Interesting. Phase. So, final phase. Hmm. We went this far. Let's take it to the end. Let's take it to the <coughs> end. You have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. What good is it going to do? What are I. Who moved? This guy didn't move. Who didn't? Who didn't move? He didn't move. Uh, the broken unit in BB one. Yeah, we well, yeah, we know he can't move. So I think I, I think he was highlighted and erroneously moved when I started cloning some of your uh, stars. Okay. So now he will assault move here. Who is he? Oh, that guy? Okay, gotcha. Um, we'll fire. Okay, go ahead. 4366 got uh, nobody else to fire at. Go ahead. Um, 8 plus 3. Mm -hmm. No effect. Subsequent for, subsequent for his fire at 4 plus 3. Mm -hmm. No effect. Mm -hmm. So he's done. I'm not going to bother with the residuals over there. Mm. For better or for worse. This guy will go here. I saw it move. Sorry. Okay, no worries. And... Uh, salt move. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. Sure. Okay, just give me a minute. I won't be long. All right. P press the uh, pause button here. All right. Well, uh, Okay. I'm back. Okay. Um, is movement phase over? Uh, you have a guy in the woods. A lot of good he'll do. Even if I advance well, him. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, a stupid pause. That, yeah, they have to fix this. I think that I'm still rolling now. Yeah, they have to fix that pause button. That's that's a that's a terrible addition they've done to that. Mm. Um, you can't tell if it's done or not, and when I highlight it, it doesn't even come up half the time. So, mm. I hope the hell it's working. Even if I go CX, what difference is he going to make in the overall game? None. So I'm going to leave him there. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, movement phase is over. All right. Um. 
Okay, it's fine. Uh, defensive fire phase. Sure. Uh, we'll go. Um... How come he's pinned? How come who's pinned? Oh, I don't know. He's not pinned. Where did that pin come from? Did I, I shoot know. at him? Uh, you advanced him, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I. All right. I saw him. Um. Interesting. So we'll fire uh, both the units that are adjacent to. Uh, actually, we'll fire him there. We'll fire V2 at V1 at 12 firepower. Uh, yeah. We'll fire 16 firepower. Mm -hmm. Now we'll fire 12. We'll fire 12. Just okay. the squad. I think I need to fire it the other direction. I think it, I don't think it will matter, but mm -hmm. we're going to fire 12 plus 3 adjacent. Okay. No effect. Uh, the conscript will fire adjacent 8 plus 4. Mm -hmm. 6, 10. That's a miss by 1. Mm-hmm. And Strobel will fire adjacent 12 plus 3. Mm -hmm. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think it's a 1 morale check on the 12th chart. Yes, yeah, a 1 morale check. Six, seven, Ooh, that's crazy. 6 morale is crazy, yep. Uh, 1 morale check. Yep. Okay, so I need uh, 5 or less twice. Two fives. One makes okay. it. Okay. Now the second guy is pinned. Now you may pin the second guy. We'll pin the second guy. We'll pin the prep guy. Okay. And one uh, break, right? The top guy's broken, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot about the break. So, um, hmm. What the hell with it? Uh, I think this orange only got. That's a big building in the way. Uh, that's it. That's all the fire can do. No one else is in all us. Okay. Defensive Advanced fire. fire. Advanced fire. Yep. So this guy is at, uh, in R2, 6 plus okay. 3. Uh, yep, six, yep, 6 plus 3. Nothing. Okay. The other guys, no advance, no move, half power, put power, half the doubled. So it's 6 plus 3 on Strobel. Plus 4, yep. Plus four and, okay. Oh, he prep fired. That guy prep fired. Oh, the guy's pinned. Uh, yep. Okay. Right. Okay. Here. Uh, CV one. Two. Uh, V two. Six. Uh, plus four. All oh, right. Yep. Six plus four. No chance in hell, right? Uh, what do you got? Okay. A pin will help. Nope. I coward. Okay. Yep. Uh... And then just guys on the right hand side. Yep. Right. Four plus four. four plus I think about all they have. Yep. Some crazy shots. Mm. Gotta take them, right? Yeah. Two pins. Pin, pins can be useful. Uh, you know. Two X two. Yep. Sure. Okay. Okay, so... Oh. Uh, rock phase? Yep. Uh, this guy will route here oh. to there. Okay, this... Uh, oh! Hello! Mm -hmm. uh, I get to route my broken unit. So he'll go one, two, three, four... Uh, that's it. He could actually route because you're CX. Okay. Not that it makes a difference, but he's alive. Mm -hmm. He's alive. <laughs> he's alive. She's alive. Advanced phase. Uh, yes, advanced phase. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be short on buildings, so this is just a uh, you go. go for the gusto. Yep. 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 Now, normally in ASL, you can't uh, you can't advance into fortified locations with good order units. So okay. that will be a rule difference for those that are going on to, to ASL. Okay. That will not be a possible advance. Fortified buildings are much stronger in ASL. But the plus one's been absolutely fantastic for me here. So mm -hmm. that's those will be two good close combats. Okay. And uh, anybody else advancing? Sure. 
for what it's worth. Yep. Clone. Boom. Okay. And that's all she wrote. And you're gonna advance it to A two, right? Hmm. You're gonna advance it to A two, right? Or is it somebody? Where? In A two. A two. Right in the middle. By Greco. Greco. Oh. Do you see A A two? Yep. Yeah. Somebody's got to take that building location. Hmm. And that one there. Yep. Okay, so that's all you're advancing, and then we go to. So that's uh, what close I combat. That's what I needed. It was 25 stars in that map. Okay. Is that true? Yes, 25 stars on the bottom map. He got nowhere close to it. Uh, <laughs> no, let's do the close combats. Let's see what right. happens with the close right. combats. Okay. And then we'll add them up and then we'll do a little discussion on it. So, uh, left or right? Ambush? Left or right? Left. Start got a this. two. You're going down. Mm. Roll six. Give me a six. Give me a minus one. Give me minus one. Nah, it's not gonna do it. All right. So <laughs> you're three to two, and I'm one to two. Okay. Three to two. Wow. Three to two is pretty good. Gee, six to four. That's crazy. You never know. So I go first. Uh huh. There. Six. Yes. My close combat. Uh, nope. So that's mm -hmm. And then the other one over here in W two. W2. Ugh, a seven. He's, he's gone. I should just delete him now. Yeah, I'll just delete him here. Let me let me, let me help you. Um. <laughs> but it's what three to two again. A three to two minus one. That's seven. You're gonna roll six, guaranteed. Oh, he's casually reduced, and my back is plus uh, plus two. Give me stay guys. Oh, and that's casualties. I think. Uh, no, no casualties, but you could like withdraw or something. Like that. You're not going to go anywhere. Hmm. So uh, you shredded him. You shredded him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So post game discussion. Uh, you tell me why you ended up short. Because uh, I kept on attacking uh, the fortified. Uh, I kept engaging the fortified uh, hexes instead of uh, flanking you, going around. Um, I realized yeah. too late. For the for the for the most part, that that is true. That is true. Um, uh, the only other thing, uh, and the only other thing I would say, uh, I would I would not necessarily criticize, but point out is um, your your guys in K two Rodriguez, right? Mm -hmm. Put another squad with him. That makes okay. that that makes that a big. That makes it instead of an eight chart, it goes to a sixteen chart. Mm -hmm. So that you you know, everyone says, "Oh, don't stack, don't stack." Bullshit. America <laughs> needs firepower. Yeah. Put put that in there. What do I what do I have firing back at you? I've got maybe eight chart plus three. You could take that all day. Mm -hmm. And there's no way I could stack a whole bunch of units in here. Strobel and two guys. That's why I split Strobel up in those two squads. I can't have Greco break him because then my entire defense is gone. I have to split them up. Hmm. So if I'm there, and let's say I break you, who, who cares? You've got six squads right beside him. And so that's that goes from an 8 chart to a 16 chart. Hmm. Essentially, that gives you a minus 2 on your dice roll. Hmm. You know, because you go, because from the 8 to 16 is a two-column shift. Yep. So, um, I'm not... Uh, with Greco... Uh, he had eight. He had you know, eight plus two is a good chart for him. Uh, if you want to stick another six 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 with him, it's fine. But um, yeah, I mean, normally people that makes that a death squad. But I, I generally don't like to stack tons of guys with my big minus twos. Yeah, you get a kill stack, but you don't really need a kill stack. You just need a stack that can break people, and that's why Rodriguez in his sixteen firepower. That's a I'm going to break you stack unless you move the hell out of my LOS. And if, if 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 you continue to threaten units, even in fortified locations, I gotta back off and then and take my risk with my either seven morale units or my six morale units. And that way, your other units can put. You know, there might be a blocked LOS here or there. You know, that sort of thing. And you guys can make a move. And like, yeah, yeah, your flank and left hand side was good, very good. No, nothing wrong with that. Um, and the that that is the only that is the only thing that I noticed. 
and the 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 glaring thing is Rod Rodriguez was Rodriguez was your fire but was your fire chart was your, your fire stack. Greco was was on the left hand side. He was moving. He kept on moving, 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 which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. He got no good location. He just didn't get. I mean, I made a couple good rolls. You know, uh, Zosh or Dosh down the bottom. I think he made two morale checks in a row with the other guy too, as well. So you were making rolls. You were getting morale checks, which is all you really need on me. Um, so that was fine. Uh, but Rodriguez was your looks like looks like was your fire fire control central, and he he needed one more squad in his hex. Hmm. And the only other thing, and it's not just you, um, I've noticed in everybody else that plays this specific scenario, mm -hmm. uh, with like maybe one exception, they always put the flamethrower over in the woods. Interesting. I, I don't know why. If the flamethrower is right here in the central area, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, first of all, this is going to clear out these buildings in like a prep fire phase. It's mm -hmm. just going to clear them out. And if you can advance it up to a flank or left or make them draw fire, and once you get up to here, these fortified loca locations do not exist. So that and that's the guy that you don't want to stack with other people. Put a five, put a five, four, six on him. Actually, he, um, yeah, I don't know. You usually have to be an engineer to use that damn thing, which is kind of here. You usually have to be an elite to use that. Hmm. So, but anyway, regardless, hmm. twenty-four firepower because over here there's no range. It's you know it's all at range. Everything I'm going to shoot at, even if I set up in the back traditionally, in the CC two a row like over here. If I set up over there, this flamethrower is still ineffective, and all you're going to be doing is shot to hell when you come running across the flamethrower because I'm looking for him. Mm -hmm. Right? Remember that shot I took right here mm -hmm. when uh, I, I took final protective fire because that's a four minus one. I'll take that, but I didn't take it on your other guy over here because that would be a four even, mm -hmm. and so that makes the difference in my roll. I had to take a chance with that, and if I could take that out, then um, it will stop you from advancing over there. Um. You could have gotten all these buildings over here by just moving all these units down and run across the street. Uh, I moved some of my guys down here into Act 5 W4 to cover these open ground hexes. Mm -hmm. But uh, you've got smoke, and that's what Americans do is smoke. <laughs> so, uh, and you were, you were nailing it. So you're doing well on the smoke there in the later stages. And uh, so, yeah, you could have gotten three more. Not that it would have made a difference, but mm -hmm. it would have been a hell of a lot closer. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, uh, the only other thing to make it a little closer is the unit on the R. Just move him. Just go two, four, right? And then jump him in close combat. And that will give you R3 as another victory hex. Huh. And then if you kill this guy in close combat, that will give you four. So instead of you ended up with two victory locations instead of a potential four. I was so, under the impression that once I took a, a building, the whole building was mine. Uh, uh, but No, that's building control. And we're talking... Uh, Building this is hex control. Okay. Uh, building hexes, so you have to move through the hexes. Wow. So you would control, yeah. So, um, yeah, that would that would kind of make it pretty easy, to be honest with you. So if you let's say let's say you had control of that building anyway, right here. Hmm. And uh, matter of fact, there's a couple of starter kit scenarios that I've seen guys put out. They don't really make the distinction. They just say building hexes. Instead of building locations or buildings, uh, whatever. Mm. And so, um, yeah. Uh, we can check our stats, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Gain control of the hex or building occupies with the presence of enemy unit. So, yeah, all these buildings over here, you, you would get these You would get these over here, I believe. But that's still... Um, how many would that give you? Would that would that be a lot closer then, huh? So, what would you get over there? So... I think you were there. Let's say you gave four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirty, four, six, seven. Yeah, twenty three, I think. I think it's twenty three. Yeah. If we go to the nobody's in the building, you can gain control of all the hexes. But I think you I'll have to double check on that with a starter kit. It might be different. But even if you got all of those, uh I think two, I got four, six, seven. Well, the because you were an R one before I got over, and so that would have given you R three and S three. Hmm. So we're going to give you R three and S three in that calculation. Okay. And so that would have been like twenty three. So that's that, oh God, this damn thing. I hate the way it hmm. it doesn't deselect the other thing. Hmm. 
Make it pretty. We'll make it pretty. Now we won't select it. Anyway, anyway. So I came pretty close. But uh, yeah, technically you came pretty close. Yeah, you you got that you got that one guy across mm. on the right hand side, which made a big difference. Mm. Um, and I that guy was broken over there, so I could only slow you down by trying to shoot at you as you crossed the open ground. But you smoked and you got across and and uh, you did what you needed to do. So that was pretty good. He he alone got seven of those seven of those locations. Hmm. So that's pretty impressive. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, but uh, I really don't know where you want to put the fortified locations. I figured, you know, most of your attack is going to be centralized. So it's like you know, just stick them in the middle and and go with it. I've seen some guys put them up at the front here, and. Uh, that's uh that's probably not a good idea because you just move the flamethrower up and it's gone. You know, well, uh, Castle said I should stop playing squad leader because it uh, you can mix up the rules really badly and um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I'm trying to get my uh, uh, act together in terms of learning as many war games as I can before I die, before I kick the bucket. <laughs> so, right. Hey, nothing's wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing's wrong with that. But um. I can't even select that stupid thing right They're there. They're pretty good but, in terms of keeping the Alzheimer's away. Yeah. So the um, exactly. Yeah. Do what you want, but um, it is difficult to be honest with you. I was playing um. Uh, I've been playing a lot of SK lately because there's there's have a tendency to be probably more viewers out there for SK than ASL, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Simply because more new players are coming in and they they might want to learn more new things, mm -hmm. and um. But the ASLers out there, going from ASL to starter kit, there's, there's, there. That's the, like I said, it's the same thing as starter kit, and um, if not a little bit more than than, than squad leader, simply because um, you know there's no elevations in starter kit; it's all flat for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, blind hexes is not a thing, not really, um, and uh, there's no bypass. There's a whole lot of things, so a lot of little other intricacies from ASL and starter kit can make a big difference. I was playing last night. And, um, you know, it's like, oh, can I move there? Can I move there? You know, I got this. I can move here. And just by the terrain makes a big difference. And uh, the unit interaction is not that big a deal. You know, if a guy goes berserk or something like that, heat of battle charge, that's not that big a deal, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, just the terrain and having different LOSs and think different things at different levels to think about makes it different for the routing. And other like other concepts, other routing and moving is is really different. Um, not really different, but is different uh, between the two SK and and uh, ASL. So uh, even that jumps a little different. If uh, if someone wants to play all starter kit, I mean, there's no big deal with that. I mean, it's still it's still great fun. You know, I've had a lot of fun in these scenarios. A lot of them seem more balanced, to be honest, than the ASL scenarios. Hmm. Um, a lot of them seem very close games, and all the games I've played, they've been very close games. They usually go to the end. So hats off to whoever's designing these types of scenarios uh, because they're all pretty cl pretty damn close. Because, again, you're not dealing with a lot of extra rules that you have to incorporate in trying to get the balance right. Here it's just pretty much a firepower v. firepower uh, comparison hmm. and, um, and maybe a little bit of leadership. But the other ones you have to take into consideration a lot more maneuver. A lot more maneuver because, like, if you guys could bypass uh, your leader in FF1, he could bypass and just like run, run all over hell. I mean, that's just crazy how far you can move bypass. Hmm. But since I know you had to, you know, trudge your way through the buildings, hmm. um, it slows you down quite a bit. But yeah, you made pretty good headway after adding those buildings. And by the definition, control by starter kit says good order, multi bank canes control the hex or building. It occupies without the presence of an enemy unit, so you would get to gain control of the building if no one else is there, and that would be the same thing. You know, all those buildings on the left hand. Uh, so yeah, you were like twenty three, not bad, hmm. not bad. Um, I think if the Germans can give the or the Americans could give the Germans a couple black eyes early with shots, a couple lucky shots, hmm. I think it's really tough because I like that central area. I mean, that's like a ton of locations there, right? Mm -hmm. There's just like twelve of them right there by my fortification. That's half of them, hmm. you know. So, but I've never, I've never seen the Germans win if they were knocked out of that central area. Hmm. It's just it would just be 
because there's 12 and then you side or left and you really can't defend everything you just gotta you gotta make the americans make some just tough decisions so and of course i lost my hmg <laughs> halfway through the that's a big difference you know in terms of keeping some guys pinned down and keeping you honest in your movement but um uh, i got lucky i got lucky on that but i was happy to see uh my four three sixes do a number on your guys i didn't know how that would come out i would either lose instantly or uh bloody your nose enough that you know it kind of throws a coin flip up in the air and uh that threw a coin flip up in the air yeah i mean it kept all those guys how many squads four squads i pinned up four squads over there maybe maybe more maybe six yeah yeah and then um that four three six broke two more guys before he actually broke so yeah um so they did a lot better than I expected, and um, I kind of like it. It's really funky seeing them set up in the open ground right next to that land there, but I'm not sure what your thoughts were. But <laughs> when uh, when I saw it's like, hey, they could set up right next to the woods, and let's see how that looks like. And it looks kind of weird, but... I'm throwing blanks. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Blanks. I, I'm just, you know, with my two firepower, you know, long range from BB-1, those stone buildings, it's like, you know, it's just a matter of time for you pound me with all your squads. You had four squads over there, I think, and that's two 12 chart plus threes, and I can't survive that all day with six morale. I just can't. So, but, um, yeah. Other, other thoughts that you, you, you have from this one? You're good, bad, whatever, indifferent? Oh, it was a pretty good fight, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a slug fight. So, uh, I enjoyed it. It was great. Yeah. It was a good game. It's pretty fun. Yeah. I tried to I tried to throw that seven zero and that is conscript right in your face in H three. It's like okay, now you gotta deal with me and you just like punched him and beat him up and sent him on his way. I think it was a it was a great fight. Nobody humiliated one another and Yeah. We kept our cool. It was a great fun. It was really fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very pleased, very pleased that we uh ran through this. Sure. And um uh, it was um Crazy! I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to try that setup for a while, and um, and it's pretty cool. And you, you came, you rebounded really hard. All oh, look at all those guys got on the right side. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy rebound. So, um, yeah, I got lucky. I got, I got lucky. Some lucky rolls, but good fun, good fun, and had by all. Thank you very much, George, for the game. Thank you, sir. And uh, and uh, I definitely watch your videos. They're very exciting to watch. And um, I'll definitely watch yours. Yeah, and we'll uh, and then we'll uh, just end it here, sure. and then we can make our own videos, and then go from there. Yep. All right. Bid you good night. Right. Thanks again. All right. Thanks for the game. Thanks.